Welcome, welcome to One Minute Crypto. I'm your host, Kronos, and today I want to talk about the current state of the Bitcoin network in terms of the transaction backlog. We've finally seen something happen today that hasn't happened in a long time, which is that the transaction backlog has been completely processed. Because of Bitcoin's limited capacity due to its maximum block size, it's not able to process all of the transactions that people are trying to put through it. And so that means with backlogs piling up, you have to pay higher fees in order to outbid the other people transacting on the network. But as of today, the backlog is cleared and you know longer have to pay high fees in that kind of competition. In this video, I want to talk a little bit about that and then also give you a pointer that's going to save you fees when you are sending Bitcoin. But first, I want to thank our sponsor because this episode is proudly sponsored by KeepKey, an easy-to-use hardware wallet for safely storing a huge variety of cryptocurrency. Enjoy peace of mind and pick one up today at KeepKey.com. So the first chart I want to pull up is the average Bitcoin fee paid on the network over time. This is a one-year chart, so you can see a year ago that the fees were pretty reasonable at about 30, 35 cents for a transaction. Some people actually would think that's not reasonable because it's a lot higher than it has to be, but it's a lot lower than it has been over that year. You can see the price really shooting up of transacting on the Bitcoin network. And in the last couple of days, we see that number coming down, but it's not back down under a dollar like it could be because that backlog is cleared. To show you why that is, we're going to jump over to the website, bitcoinfees.earn.com. You can see at the top here, all of these very, very low fee transactions that probably won't get onto the blockchain. And just below that, it's still very, very cheap is where you could be putting your transaction in order to get onto the network. But if you scroll down, you can actually see there's a very small number of much higher paying fees. I think these are actually Bitcoin miners putting some transactions out there in the memory pool at a high fee, hoping to trick your wallet software into thinking that the network is still congested. So if you're sending Bitcoin on the network and you have the ability to set your own fee, don't necessarily accept the fee that the software gives you because it might be putting your fee way down here, much, much higher price because it thinks that the network is clogged. But it's actually not. If you scroll up, you can see that you can pay a lot lower in fees. I've actually put together an entire video walkthrough on how to use this website to pay the perfect fee. And I've put a link in the video description. I hope you find it useful. I'm Kronos. Thanks for watching.